people the title of this one behind the curve playing catch up and it's a known fact that us as black people we behind the curve in a lot of things in society as a whole so by being a known fact if you think about it if you're not at least 10 to 15 years ahead you are at least 30 years behind think about that for a second let's see if that resonates with you and how you move in your everyday life before you was able to even be productive member of society 30 years behind you just now starting and what you see in front of you is shit that was already planned 30 40 years ago you know what I'm saying? You got to think about that. It's, it's, it's kind of deep. And the only people playing in this world is us. Us as black folks. Us being behind the curve consistently and constantly. Day in and day out. We haven't progressed. We haven't developed. And so statistically, you already done cut your chances in half when you bullshit. And when you haven't made up your mind on what you want to do in life. You know, a lot of times we got people praying on us instead of praying with us. You know, the crab in the barrel mentality. And in order for us to reach another level of success, you got to detach and disconnect yourself from people, places, and things that's not beneficial to your growth, none whatsoever. So you got to be wise enough to discern the differences between what's harmful and what's helpful for you and to you and around you. So some things may give you a temporary satisfaction, but in the end, it could be detrimental to you. And if you if you think hard enough, if you put forth enough effort. You got to know that the trick is you got to have the mental fortitude to override what's holding you back. And what's holding you back and making real decisions based on the real world and your situations for yourself. Because if you don't, you are going to severely impair your advancement and success in your life that's that's that go that goes without saying that that's like that's a that's that, that's a for definite you know what i'm saying so like i stated earlier you got a lot of you got a lot of black folks that are prey on you versus praying with you right so with that being said the fact that we only common you know the only commonality that we share amongst other black folks is this, you know what I'm saying? Pigmentation, same skin. That's it. Because everybody ain't got your best interests at heart. So in this life, you should t you should be able to prepare yourself. You know, you, sh you should be able to tell that people, including your own, your own people, will knock you down to get ahead. And they'll leave you there. Dead and stinking, per se. You know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to get ahead. They, they have no time to waste. And if they can get over on you, instead of bringing you with them, they will. And I just want to let you know, being a trying to be a productive member of society, ain't nobody playing with you, bro. They'll leave you. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not conducive for you to not try in this life or not get ahead in this life. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody playing with you. <laughs> they gonna leave your ass in the dust, man. I promise you. Any man, woman, or child, it don't matter. You know? So, the most basic level of how you know, how we think of ourselves far as, just, just think on a basic level, far as schools go, right? 
far as us, no matter, no matter, you know what I'm saying, a boy or a girl, it, it, it don't matter, your child, you or anybody else in this, in, in this world, you know, just on a basic level, you, me, us, for example, your white counterparts or anybody else that you will be competing with in this world, just at a basic level, at the school system, just think about it. Your counterparts, whoever they may be, they get good grades, right? Us as black folks, we get bad grades. They take AP classes. We in remedial classes. We gra they graduating, we dropping out. They they going to college. We not even interested in going to college. None whatsoever. That's that's the farthest. That's the farthest thing from my mind. You know, people are dressing for success. We still out with our pants half down our ankles. Off our ass. Ain't got a belt. Got a damn string. Right? So you got people that can speak correctly. We constantly using slang. Speaking Ebonics day in, day out. You know, they respectful and they got respectful behavior in public you know what I'm saying we loud and disruptive you know I got something for you know to counter everything but I'm just showing you how we are viewed you know what I'm saying in terms of you know they, they turn in criminals they obey the law but we we don't snitch and we rather be out here earning street credibility on these streets that don't love you for nothing. Don't love you for nothing. So people going to view us and label us as, you know, we stupid. We ignorant. We lazy. We rude. We disrespectful. We dangerous. And we criminals. And if that don't speak to us being behind the girt, ah, I'm sorry, being behind the curve and playing catch up, I don't know what will speak to you. You feel me? And... It all becomes a vicious cycle, due unto the lack of knowledge from parents to children, you know, and this is just things how I view them and how I can, you know, speak to you, because some may not even notice, and, and if they do notice, they don't really care, you know what I'm saying, because it ain't a, it, they rather get ahead on their own and not bring nobody with them, you know what I'm saying, they waiting, they waiting for a motherfucker to just fall to the wayside. It's a better chance for me to move up in this world. But it's just it's not going to be you. It takes more than just you. It has to be a movement of people around you. So if you're only concerned with helping yourself, you're not going to be able to help nobody else. You know, you need, you need to be able to help other people to help you as well. And my thing is, when, when we only do for self, we only look out for self, I feel like it creates like a... A generational gap between us you know being astute with how we spend our money how we feel like how we uh invest in property how we uh pretty much being connected as a member of society that we should progress in everyday life you know we do things differently we be we, be, we behind so far that we can't catch up and when we say we do catch up, the next person that's looking up at you and you looking down on them is going to ask you who, who you bring with you. You know, who did you bring with you? It's just me at the top. Well, everybody can't stay at the top. Everybody needs somebody and everybody needs help. So, my thing is, if you have the opportunity to progress... Try to bring somebody else with you. I ain't saying whatever they doing, you know, if they not being productive, then you can't help them. You know what I'm saying? They gotta they gotta do within uh they gotta work with the uh with time and constraints on their own. They gotta be able to do that on their own. But bring many of these people with you as you can. You know what I'm saying? Especially your own. You know what I'm saying? You it, it, it's about growth, but you gotta be able to have others grow around you. You know, it's like, it's like, 
You need to you you need to spread your word. You need to spread your positivity. You need to spread, you know, you you being a plant. You you growing. But, but being within your growth, you need to be you need to be able to branch out and network and help others come up as well. But that's my time right now. It's a little something I wanted to drop on y'all. Like, share, subscribe as usual. And I appreciate you. So y'all be blessed. And I'm out.